Hello and welcome. This is Judy Adele and I am here to do a music reaction video. I have no idea what the song or artist or anything is. What I do know, it is a request that comes to us today from Dr. Honk Pill. So I have to say, I'm super curious. Let me get a good look at you. Yeah, this next song is going to piss off three quarters of you. <laughs> Ready, Hobo Chuck? Yeah. Okay, I at this point do not know who this is. The tune sounds familiar, but but that's all I got. Unicorn, butterfly, angel wings in her thigh. Queer tattoo. That's a queer tattoo. Flaming skull, smoking pot. Bet you wish you never got that queer tattoo. It's a queer tattoo. Okay, Stephen Lynch. All right, I now think I recognize this person <laughs> from comedy. My uh, comedy my Pandora comedy stations. That's the voice I recognize. Um, he looks different than I recall him looking, but okay. So far, interesting. You've got a Tweety Bird, got a school mascot, got a Hello Kitty, tell you what you got. Got a queer tattoo, such a queer tattoo. You think that symbol in Japanese means strength or honor honky please it means queer tattoo <laughs> such a queer tattoo <laughs> take it away hobo chuck oops i didn't mean to pause it but now that i'm pausing it some people are very proud of their queer tattoos that's what they were going for <laughs> It is very unfortunate, though. The uh, I, I have known... I don't know if I've known anybody directly, but I have known of a few people who got a tattoo that they thought said something uh, in another language and discovered that is not what it said when they uh, came upon a person in, uh, in that native language, which is fascinating to me. Might as well say insert cock here or tattoo. Okay, I did know somebody who had a lower back tattoo that said exit, so I don't know if that would count. Or exit only, that's what it said. That Sorry. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this song. Insert cock here <laughs> or tattoo. That's a whore tattoo. Oh. Oh. And that teardrop under your eye. That you got in prison cause you killed a guy That's a cool tattoo <laughs> Sir, that's a cool tattoo <laughs> you got a comedy mask, got a tragic <laughs> Okay uh, that, that, that line right there might be worth the whole song Tragedy mask, any fucking Got a comedy mask, got a tragedy mask, any fucking mask, then you must have asked for a queer tattoo. Give me your most queer tattoo. Your child's name, with the words be strong, would be beautiful, but they spelled strong wrong. Yeah, they spelled it stomp. <laughs> your stupid kid will now be stomp. And weren't you watching when they put that shit out? <laughs> Say bye, 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 bye. It's a good reminder to never go get a tattoo by yourself, especially when they're putting spelling bits and pieces in there. Wait, what did he say? 
Why these are all queer tattoos. <laughs> I guess you got that tribal band from a tribe indigenous to the land of queer tattoos. Really queer tattoos. You got barbed wire, got a poker ace, got that fucked up thing on Mike Tyson's face. Got a queer tattoo. Tyson was going to be here tonight. <laughs> and by queer, I just mean bad. It wouldn't mean gay unless you had a pink triangle on a rainbow flag with a bear wearing leather and a red ball gag. <laughs> oh, that's a queer tattoo. <laughs> people with queer tattoos. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> so easy. So easy. Just <laughs> <laughs> any hobos in the room. the world's most talented hobo. I I need to process that song more. <laughs> Stephen Lynch, yes. his He tends to like to push the envelopes in interesting ways. And I, yeah, it's been a long time since I've listened to some of his stuff. And some of it, it's like the, I have to divide myself sort of in half because part of me like goes, oh, geez, really, do we have to, to do you have to go here? I'm trying to think of specific songs in particular, and I'm not coming up with them, but just, <laughs> and then appreciating the funny side of things that sometimes are taking things a little bit too far. So yes, I have a, a complicated relationship with that. <laughs> I can usually see this. I can usually see the funny side in most things, especially when they have the intent of the intent of trying to be the intent of being funny, not done in a malicious way, and sort of even recognize in their own way that they're pushing the envelope. So I don't know if that's a good description. Uh, ask me more in a couple days after thinking about this for a little while. <laughs> I do. I love the sing songy part of the, you know, right? Like that's what that's what <laughs> that's what makes comedy interesting too. Is the sing songy, beautiful music, just making you feel like you're on the front porch, down home, and then lyrically you're like, ooh, how do I how do I take that? I do appreciate that they uh, they look like they are having a a very fun a very fun and enjoyable time. I think that might have been from what I saw from 2017, which is kind of cool because I think most of the comedy that I heard of his was quite a ways before that. But I don't know that I've I don't know that I've heard that song before. So, thank you Dr. Honkpill. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly uh, for your delightful, thoughtful, not sure how to think <laughs> uh, reminder of Stephen Lynch. On that note, 
Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Please do uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you if you like or don't like this video, check out some of the others. We have a lot of good comedy uh, and a lot of other throwbacks and new stuff all over the board. And it's so much fun if you love music like I do. So thank you for being here. Oh, and feel free to throw your requests and comments below. I love good music comedy, so share away. And until next time, Enjoy the music. See ya. Bye-bye.